What's going on YouTube? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys another double battle video for Pokemon Sword. Before this video starts, you guys know the deal. Show some support by smashing that like button, clicking that subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section down below. Seriously guys, cannot thank you guys enough. We just passed 500 subs on the channel, so thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel, liked the videos, or just swung by and watched them. So guys, in today's video, we are rocking out with this Surfetch Alcreme team, which I'm actually hyped, considering I don't really use these Pokemon too much, so I'm ready to learn them, ready to use them up. But rocking in our front spot, you guys can see, is that Surfetch, which is Life Orb, Meteor Salt, Brave Bird, Poison Jab, and Knock Off to actually knock off some items. Then we got Milo Tick with Competitive as its ability, which is nice. Rocking out Adrenaline Orb with Scald, Ice Beam, Protect, and Life Dew to heal up the teams. Then we got Ferrothorn, rocking in the bottom spot right there. I love Ferrothorn. So good, especially with that Leftovers and that Leech Seed on him. He also has Gyro Ball, Protect, and Power Whip. Because if you can set up that Leech Seed with the Leftovers, whoo, it's Night Night. It's also rocking Iron Barbs as his ability. So that works as like a Rocky Helmet. So if they, they want to hit me, they'll take some damage in return. Then we got my boy Dragapult right here, which is always a good choice. Always a good choice to go in with the Dragapult. Rock Clear Body and that Assault Vest so it can soak up some special attack damage. Rock and Dragon Darts hit the opponents. Phantom Force to actually sink down, go away from the play, dodge some attacks. Has you turn to swap out, get a hit off, and Psychic Fang to do some damage. Then we got El Creme right here with that Citrus Berry. Dude, I love El Creme. I love how many forms it has. And you just gotta give them like different fruits and stuff. Like, oh, here's Strawberry. Go in the Shortcake one. Like, dude, it's awesome. I love El Creme and her design. Rock and Dazzling Gleam, double fairy move, hit both the opponents. Mystical Fire, recover to get some health, and decorate to actually boost special attack and attack of allies, which is nice. Then we got Gyarados chilling here with that weakness policy, and ooh wee, you don't want him to set up that weakness policy. He will do some work. Rock and Intimidate, drop their physical attack and all that good stuff with Waterfall, EQ to hit everybody, Ice Banks, and Dragon Dance to set up. But guys, if you, if you would like to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. Definitely use it up. This team is awesome. And guys, let me know for question of the day. It's not really a question, but leave me your guys' rental codes in the comment section down below. I would love to use your guys' team and use them in videos and all that. I'll give you guys a little shout outs and all that. Like, oh, yo, this team was made by blah, blah, blah. Put it up on the screen. It would be awesome. It would be awesome. So definitely leave me your guys' rental codes. But without further ado, let's get on with these battles. Here we go, guys. This guy's rocking Extra Drill, Togekiss, Duraldon, Arcanine, Gengar, and Milotic. And that Milotic, which is nice. Which is nice. He doesn't really have Intimidate. Does he have? Oh, no. His Intimidate is in that Arcanine. I'm going to definitely be leading my Milotic because the Adrenaline Orb, when an Intimidate pops out, we boost our speed. So that's nice. We're going to go into Milotic. And then do we lead our Gyarados to kind of counteract him? We could go that and then bring Surf Fetch and Alcremie in the back. That could be huge. That could be huge. So I'm thinking we're going to do that. I'm thinking we're going to do that. Or do we go Dragapult? Dragapult could be type nice. I can see him going into that Arcanine, maybe that Duraludon. Um, so now, do we really lead that? Hmm. We lead Dragapult? No. We do, we do not lead Dragapult. We're going to go, actually, we're going to go Milotic and Surfetch? Yeah, Milotic, Surfetch. We're running out of time here. Let's go Milotic. No, Milotic, Ferrothorn, and then we'll bring Surfetch and Alcreme in the back end. I think we're going to be chilling with this team right here. We can stall out a little bit longer. Play this one slow. We can play this one actually very, very slow. I'm actually worried about I put my Fire Thorn up there, but I'm hoping he doesn't lead that Arcanine. If he does, we can always just swap out, go into our, uh, will Surfetch take that up? I think he's just fighting type. The Surfetch might be able to eat it up. Or we could just go into a Protect right off the bat. We could just go into a Protect. Our speed's going to be boosted here. We can always go into a Life Doom and all that good stuff. But the Gengar and Tokus pop out, which I'm fine with. Which I'm fine with. I can see in Hypnosis popping off on that Gengar, which is fine. Which is fine by me. I want to set up a Leech Seed. I really do want to set up a Leech Seed here. I'm just going to go straight for an Ice Beam on this Togekiss. No problem whatsoever. Then we're just going to go... Do we go into a Gyro Ball and try to double up on it? But can we Leech Seed this Gengar? It might not affect them. It might not affect the Gengar. I think we're going to double up on this Togekiss here. I think we're definitely going to double up on this Togekiss. Try doing some work on him early on. I don't think the Leech Seed works on the Gengar. Hmm. I'm trying to remember. But guys, if you like to catch more content from me, make sure you go and link in the description below. Genius25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. It is a new season. We are pushing Master Ball on singles, dude. We are up to, I think, tier 9 already. We played only like 11 matches, so we're crushing it. We're doing well. He's going to Dynamax. I'm guessing the Togekiss. I'm guessing he's going to Dynamax the Togekiss. Try to get some speed boost with his team, which is fine by me. Fine by me. Yep, Togekiss going to come out here. He's going to start popping off some max air streams. I can see the Hypnosis coming out from that uh, Gengar or maybe the Nasty Plot setup. We can see. We can see in just a second. What's he going to do? What are you going to do, fool? What you want? What you want? Oh, Gengar's going to go for the Shadow Ball right early on into my Milotic. My Milotic soaks that up. No problem. Nice, Milotic. That thing's a beast, though. That Gengar can hit like a truck. Going after my boy or my Milotic here. Wow, going to boost that speed early on. Going to boost that speed early on. We're going to get two shots off here on this Milotic. Hopefully, we can get that freeze. That would be huge if we can get that freeze off. Let's see. Ice Beam. Yeet. Get that freeze. Show it to me, baby. No freeze, no freeze. 
Oh, it's weak, this policy. It's weak, this policy. We are sitting in a tough position right here. A tough, tough, tough position right here. Gyro Ball is going to have to do some work. Gyro Ball, get out there. Do some nice damage. Beautiful. Okay, Gyro Ball was huge. We are going to protect our, what's it called? We're going to protect our Milotic here. And then we're just going to go into another Gyro Ball and try to get rid of this uh, Toad Kiss. He's going to boost the speed of that Gengar. That Gengar is going to actually start doing some work later on. But we're chilling here. We're chilling. I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried. He's wasting his Dynamax here. That's fine. He's probably going to go into another Max Airstream. Hopefully, he goes there for my Milotic. And maybe my Milotic's Protect can eat it up. We'll see in just a second. Shadow Ball's going to come out here. Block. He's probably going to come after my, what's it called? My Ferrothorn. Max Airstream on my Ferrothorn? Is that who you're going after? Yep. Oh my lord. That did a ton of damage. But again, we're chilling. We're chilling. His uh, Togekiss is going to go down. His Togekiss is going to go down here. And we might just rock out into a Protect on my, uh, what's it called? On my Ferrothorn. Wasting up a turn. Maybe go into a Life Dew here. Maybe go into a Life Dew. Try to get some health. Try to push back with some health. They go to the protect because I know one's gonna go after my Milotic, one's gonna go after my Ferrothorn. So protect definitely popping out with that Ferrothorn. I'm gonna try to keep him alive a little bit longer just to distract later on. Just to definitely distract later on. We still have the Alcreme and the Dynamax with our what's it called in the back. Oh, our speed's gonna boost here. Our speed is gonna boost with that adrenaline orb. That could be huge. That could be huge. Competitive's gonna come out here. We're gonna boost our speed here. Then we're gonna boost our special attack, which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. Here we go. Speed's gonna boost up here with that adrenaline orb hopefully we can outspeed and get this life do up here we go here we go we're gonna go into this protect with the fire thorn and a life do right off the bat life doing protect let's go let's get it come on mild think you gotta outspeed that gengar he's probably gengar's probably coming after me fire thorn's gonna protect hopefully that gengar goes after my fire thorn and we outspeed and get that life do off shadow ball no 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 it's okay it happens it happens bye bye mild tick it's all good fire thorn's gonna protect block a shot off we're going to be able to go into our... What's it called here? We're going to be able to go into our boy right here. Our Farfetch or Farfetch. Surfetch, sorry. With the big celery stick sword. Um, Right, would that be the call? Let me see. What typing is he again? What typing is he? Is he just fighting? Yeah, he's just fighting. Um, We can't go into the Alcreme. Hmm. Now we're going to save the Alcreme here. We're going to go straight into the Surfetch. And we're going to start... uh. I think we're going to take out the... What's it called here? We go to try to take out that Gengar. And maybe get a plus... Uh, do we get a stab attack? Mm. Mm, what are we going to go for here? We are fighting. We could go Meteor Assault. The user attacks wildly with... The, it's thick leak. The user can't move on the next turn because the force of this move makes it stagger. Okay. We might want to boost the speed of our team here. We can't go for a knockoff. Um... I'm thinking we're going to Dynamax here and just go into a Max Knuckle. Get some stab damage off on here. I'm thinking that's the play. I think we go Dynamax, Max Knuckle. Hmm. We can go Dynamax into the Max Darkness right here. Let's do it. Let's try to get this Gengar out the way. And we're going to go for a Leech Seed over on the Arcanine. That's the plan. That's the plan. Let's see what happens here. Here comes our Dynamax. We still have our Alcreme, which is beautiful. Alcreme is a beast. We maybe should have saved our Dynamax because maybe that Alcreme is a Gigantamax Pokemon. And Gigantamax is allowed. It is allowed in the new season, which is awesome. And we're going to Dynamax. My boy Surfetch. Look at him. Quack, quack. He's coming in hot. Little ducky boy. What, what is he? Is he a duck? I think he's a duck. Right? Is he a type of a duck? We outspeed. No Shadow Ball's going to come out here on him. We're going to eat that up. No problem. And do we outspeed here now? Flare Blitz going to come out here on my... Wow, he's going to let us get this Leech Seed off. I know he's not. I was going to say, you're going to let us get that Leech Seed off? That'd be type nice. That'd be type nice. Iron Barb's going to do some damage here. We're going to come across with this Max Darkness. We might be able to take out the... What's it called? We might be able to take him out here. The Gengar. In one shot. This Gengar is a glass cannon. It's a glass cannon. Let's see how much damage we can do here. Bill, see you later. See you later. Beautiful. Okay, Gengar is gone. Gengar is gone. He's out of here. Now it's down to a 2v2 situation. And we have our Dynamax. And we have our Dynamax, so I think we're sitting fine here. We have our Alcreme here. Alcreme is an absolute beast. Absolute beast. Let's get Alcreme up in here. Let's go, Alcreme. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's try to start off huge here. There you go. Duraldon's going to pop out here. We're going to Max Knuckle that thing. We're coming in hot against that thing. Max Knuckle's going to come out. And then we're going to go straight for that Arcanine here, too. Or do we double up? We're going to go Max Knuckle over here. And do we go Dazzle Gleam? Or we can decorate. Hmm. I don't think she's going to outspeed, so I don't really think Decorate's going to do much. Mm. Go for Dazzling Gleam. Just do work on both sides. Let's go for Dazzling Gleam here. Let's go for Dazzling Gleam just to do a little bit of damage on both of them. 
The Willow is gonna pop out here. He missed! He missed! Let's get it! Ooh wee! Ooh wee! Big Max Knuckle coming out here. Yeah, yay! Do some work! See you later, Duraladon. Wrap it up! Wrap it up! That's the game! That's the game. We got it in the bag. We got it in the bag. What a way to start off this team right here. What a way to start off this team with a nice win here. We're crushing it with them. Love it. You love to see it. Love to see it. Dazzle Gleam's gonna pop up here. We'll do a little bit more damage. But he has to take out my Surfetch here in one hit. Oh, our Kermit still does some mean damage here. Will Decorate go first? If we send it first, will it go first? Let's test it out. Let's test it out, but we're just gonna go for that uh, stab move here. With that fighting. And we're just gonna rock out into a Decorate over on Surfetch. Let's see if Decorate will go first. Let's see. No, it does not, but he's gonna come after us. We eat that up, and that should be the game. That should be the game. He's gonna take recoil damage. Does Decorate go first? Nope. He eats up the berry. He eats up the berry. He eats up the berry. That's fine. So good to know that we have to throw in a slower Pokemon without Kermit for Decorate to work up. Good. And built. There we go, baby. Surfetch going off this match. Quack, quack. Quack, quack, baby. Dude, Surfetch did some work. That life from Surfetch. Beautiful, beautiful. That's how you do it. That's how you run with this team. Let's go. Another battle coming at you guys. This guy's rocking Sylveon, Angie slash Duraludon, Steelix, probably G Max Sense Scorch, or a G Max Charizard. Or a G Max Charizard. I definitely. Do I want to bring in my Milotic? I want to bring him on my Milotic. I think I'm going to bring him on my Milotic and my Gash. Oh, uh, not Gastrodon. Gyarados here. I think I'm going to double up with that. Then potentially bring in my. My Ferrothorn? Could Ferrothorn do work here with the Leech Seed and all that? Could, but it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. No, I really don't want my Ferrothorn in here. No Ferrothorn. Sorry, Ferrothorn. You're out of here. We're going to bring Surfetch out Creme here, or do we go Dragapult? I think Surfetch out Creme would be the play call here. But we're going to lead out Creme. I see him leading that Steelix. I think we're going to go Alcreme Gyarados to lead. And then have... Where do we go? Where do we go Gyarados Milotic here? Because if he leads that... Um, I can see him leading the... What's it called? That's Steelix. Thinking I'm going to lead that Alcreme. Or that Daraladon. So we're going to go Milotic Gyarados. Alcreme Surfetch in the back end. We have Decorate on that Alcreme. Which is huge. Which is actually huge. I can see that Sense Scorch or that Charizard being G-Max. Gigantamax. Um... But I think we're sitting fine. I think we're sitting fine here. I really do. I really do. Let's see what this guy has for us. Let's see what this guy is going to do against us. What does he want? What's good, dog? What is good? Who's he going to send out? I'm, feel I'm feeling Steelix is going to come out. Yeah, Steelix or Duraludon. Okay, that's fine by me. That is fine by me. Gyarados Milotic pops out here. Beautiful. I see him potentially Dynamax here, but Intimidate is going to pop out here. We're going to lower the attack, even though these things are special attacking. I can see this thing having T-Wave on or Thunder on it. At the Raladon, so kind of scared. We go into a life do, uh, let's go into a life do with D dance here. This is super effective against the Raladon. We're gonna go into life do D dance here. Then we could potentially, I, we should outspeed both these Pokemon. Let's see. Yeah, D dance is gonna pop out. We do outspeed, which is great to know. It's great to know he's not Dynamax neither. We might be setting up screens or something. Probably going for Hyper Voice with Throat Spray, maybe. Let's see, Life 2 is going to... Oh, out, she outspeeds both of them, too. Let's see what happens here. Dragon Claw is going to pop out. Probably on my Milotic. Yep, Milotic will eat that up. No prob. No prob. And the Moonblast is going to pop over here on the other side. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so now that we know that we outspeed, I feel like we're going to eat up an EQ and a Life 2 can come up huge. What are we going to protect? Let's just protect, play it safe. Protect EQ. Because we are plus one on the attack board here. And plus one speed. So we do outspeed, and this EQ should do some work. Should do some work on both these Pokemon, which is nice. Is he gonna Dynamax? He might Dynamax at Duraldon, which I, I'd be fine with. I'd totally be fine with it. Let's see. Nope. No Dynamax coming out here. But the Protect is gonna pop off here, which is beautiful. Which is actually beautiful. And the EQ is gonna come out here. Miss our Milotic because of the Protect. And then do some work on both these Pokemon. Get him. Get him. Yeah. See you later, Duraldon. Sylveon down to the red, which is beautiful. What a way to start off. What a way to start off. We can probably run this, actually. We can probably win this next match. Swift is going to pop out here. We're protected. Beautiful. 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 This thing is rocking Swift. Oh, it's a double It's a double hit move. Okay. That's fine. I thought Swift had first turn priority. I guess not. I guess not. That's fine. Who is he going to go into next? I think we're just going to chill here and potentially sweep here. We might dine out here. We might dine here. We have weakness policy. Um, we're going to go for a Scald over here. I'm just going to go for a Max Geyser. We should go for Max da Geyser here. We might be able to just sweep out here. We're going to outspeed. And this Max Geyser is going to be huge. Let's see. Is he going to Dynamax too? What is he going to do? 
Mm, we're chilling, we're chilling. Yeah, I gotta get that Sylveon out of the way, but we know we outspeed that Sylveon, which is crazy. Why is Milotic outspeeding Sylveon? Did this guy just build Poo Poo Team? <laughs> this guy just built a whack team? Let's see, let's roll out here. What you want? Probably say bye bye to this, uh, Steelix, because this is Stab Max Geyser with plus one attack on it. Yeah. Later, is this thing sturdy or is it Focus Ash? Let's see. It's sturdy. It is a sturdy ability. That's fine by me. And the rain's gonna come in here. The rain is gonna pop off here, which is fine. Then we're gonna go into a Scald and be able to take out this Sylveon. Bye bye, Sylveon. Bye bye. This match is easy. GG, baby. GG. This is about over. This is about over because I see my characters just swamping on whatever comes out next. Thunder Frank's gonna pop out. We will eat that up. No problem. No problem. Nom 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 nom. Weakness boss comes out. Next Pokemon is gone. Next Pokemon is gone, dude. It's just beautiful, dude. What a match here, dude. Starting off just sweeping out. We're just sweeping out here. Too easy. Too easy for us. Who's he gonna send out as his final Pokemon? It's gonna be a Charizard. Night night, buddy. Night night, Charizard. Uh, we're just gonna go into a Scald over on the Steelix. And then a Max Geyser over here. And that is gonna be the game. I see us outspeeding this thing, even if it is G Max. Let's see. Let's see what he does. Even if he does, say he outspeeds my Gyarados, takes him out, whatever. We still have our Milo Tick to take out that Charizard. Like our Milo Tick's just chilling. Then we have that Alcremming in the back, which is fine. I think we're just chilling here. I think we're just chilling. I don't really see him taking us out, even with a Max Overgrowth. Let's see. That's G Max, baby. That is a G Max Charizard. Look at that thing. That thing is nasty looking. That thing looks awesome. What you want, fool? What you want? I'm about to put you in a dumpster. I'm about to put you in a dumpster here. Do we outspeed? We do outspeed. Hey, bye bye, dude. Look how much damage it's gonna do. Yo, in the rain. Boop. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Look at that sweep, dude. Clean sweep with this team. Clean sweep. That is the game. Monty's gonna outspeed Steelix. Hit him with a scald. That's night night. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy, baby. Look at that. Doubling up with the water Pokemon here. He saw we had a Gyarados in this and a Milotic, and he decides to bring a Steelix and another Fire Tank. Come on, get out of my face, dude. Final battle coming at you guys. These guys rocking Exegel, T-Tar, potentially a Sandstorm team with a Toga Kiss, having the Butterfree and the Sableye. That's a good combo with a Snorlax, too. I can see him leading that Sableye Butterfree or the Exegel T-Tar. So depending on what it is, I'm definitely going to go reeling with my Gyarados again. Set off that Intimidate. So Gyarados is going to come in this front spot, and we might go into Alcrema here, too. Maybe decorate him up. So I can see him putting something to sleep, or we can just go straight for a Mystical Fire against that Butterfree. So yeah, we're going to go Alcrema Gyarados to lead us off. Surfetch and... Milotic in the back, or Dragapult? Or Dragapult? I'm going to say Milotic because he has a very physical attacking team with that T-Tar and the, uh, what's it called? And the Exedrill. But we're going to go Gyarados, Alcrema in the front, Milotic, Surfetch in the back. In the back, baby. Let's get it. Hopefully, he can set off a weakness policy early on. It depends what he goes for, because that T-Tar is a beast. I might swap out from the T-Tar if he pulls in with it. That's just tough, man. It's just tough. Because we're going to try to decorate and outspeed. That's the plan. That is the plan. D-Dance, maybe decorate. Depending on what he goes for, is the question. That's that's just the question here. Butterfree and Extra Drill starts off. If he's going to come after me, I'm going to go after him. I'm going to roll here. Are we going to decorate, or are we going to D-Dance here? Hmm. I think we're going to D-Dance and go for the Mystical Fire. I think that's the plan. Mystical Fire over on that Butterfree. I think that is the play call. Let's go with it. Or we can EQ. I think it's part flying, though. EQ could be nice. Ice Fang could be nice. Waterfall could be nice. These all rock out here. But we're D-Dancing here. We are going to D-Dance with our Gyarados, and then we're going to go roll rock right into a uh, Mystical Fire over here, and then we can potentially go into a what's it called? This could be G-Max Butterfree, but then we can potentially go into Dazzling Gleam. Double hit on both the Pokemon. This will work. I can see him G-Max from right here. Going into a uh, whatever the Butterfree's uh, G-Max move is. This could be G-Max. This could be G-Max. I wish our Kermit was G-Max too. But it's all good. It's all good. It's all good, dog. It's all good, dog. He's going to withdraw the Butterfree. That's fine by me. What's he going to go into? A T-Tar. That's fine. We're going to get a free D-Dance off. Is he going to rock out with the Sandstorm here? Unnerved. No more berries for us. Is anyone rocking a berry? Who's rocking a berry? I think the... Uh, what's it called? Is. Ooh, we... Nice damage here. Should have maybe decorated, but the... Dragon Dance is going to pop out here. We might be able to out outspeed that uh, extra drill now. Do we keep our Alcreme? What's the plan here? See, we go for a Dazzling Gleam with it. Good decorate here. Let's go Fire's going to come out here. Do a tad bit of damage. Um, I think I'm going to Dynamax my... Uh, uh, what's it called here? 
Like Gyarados. Yeah, we're gonna Dynamax at Gyarados and we're gonna go straight after this T-Tar. I want that T-Tar out the way. Oh, we could go for a recover. We go for a recover or dazzling gleam. We can go for a recover here. Maybe if we survive here, we can do some work. But I can see a potential another Iron Head coming out here. But we are plus one on the attack board. I can see a Rock Slide potential come out here. Send off our weakness policy. We're going to try to get this T-Tar out the way. We're going to get this T-Tar out the way here. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of looking at it. I want it out of here. I want it gone. I want it to see you later. I want it out of here. <laughs> okay, let's rock out. Gyarados, get in here, big dog. Let's do it. Dude, Gyarados is just such a good Pokemon. Do we outspeed here with that plus one? No, Rock Slide's going to come out here. Punk out our what's it called here. Our what's called our weakness policy, but it might make our Alcremate flinch, which would be tough. I would love to get that recovery off. And what's it gonna go? Another rock side, probably double rock side. Now we're gonna outspeed here, do some work with that weakness policy boosted. This could take out that T Tar. This could do some work. Bill, see you later. See you later, T Tar. Beautiful. That's exactly what I want you to do. Set off my weakness policy. That's why we went to that Dynamax so we could soak it up. And now this rain is among us. Can we get this recovery off? That'd be huge with that outcome. Let's see. Barry, ooh wee Unnerve goes away, and the berry pops out, so we should be able to maybe soak up another hit here and get this what's called going. Oh, we outspeed this thing now. Ooh, why do we outspeed this thing now? But I'll take it. I'll take it. We'll get off this nice recover here, and we can decorate up. We can totally decorate up. We can run this with my, uh, with my Gyarados. We can totally run it. Going into that Toad Kiss. Uh, what are we going to roll into? We might roll into a Dazzling Gleam here. Into a Max Geyser here, too. We're going to go Max Geyser, get this extra drill out the way. We're just going to go into a Dazzling Gleam in case any of these guys are Focus Sash. We can take off the Focus Sash. I can see his extra drill potentially being Focus Sash. That's why we're going in with that double hit move, taking off. Even if it lands on one HP, we'll be able to just shred it down. Focus is going to use Follow Me. That's fine. We'll still be able to take off the Focus Sash of the extra drill with this Dazzling Gleam. And we're going to go off with the Max Geyser. We'll eat that up too. No, 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 no. Ooh, why did that one do so much damage this time around? Of course, he gets the lucky crit. That's some bogus, man. That is some bogus. We're going to do some work with this Max Geyser. I can see it doing a ton of damage in the rain. We're plus, I think, two on the attack board. Boy. Boy, see you later, Togekiss. Gyarados is just running this thing. Uh, we're going to throw out our Surfetch here. We're going to get a Surfetch rocking out here. Totally going to get a Surfetch rocking out here. Here goes his little Bitterfree. Butterfree's going to come out here. We got our Life Orb Surfetch chilling here. And we might just go into his move. We might show off his move. And what are we going to go for here? Pick up our Hailstorm. Get this Butterfree out of the way. That's the plan. And we're going to rock out into a Meteor Assault over on this extra drill. I want to see Meteor Assault. I want to see it. I think I saw it before, but I just kind of forget what it is. It's 150 base damage. Like, this is Sir Fetch's move, but I think it, uh, he can't move the next turn. Let's see what he does. He might go into a Max, what's it called? A G-Max Butterfree. But he might go into a max airstream. He could. I can see that potentially happening. I'm going into a max airstream here and taking out my surf edge. But if not, dude, my surf edge is going to one tap this extra drill. Hands down, it's life forward, or it's going to set off its weakness policy. Like I said, I think he has a weakness policy. But we have my what's called in the back. Sleep powder is going to. Smart cookie. Smart cookie. Sleep powder on that Gyarados. That Butterfree's quick, though. Butterfree's real quick. Rock Side's going to come out here. That's fine. That's fine. Surf edge is going to do work on this Meteor Soul. Going to do work on it. He's going to do some work here. Let's see. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We're steadfast, though. We're steadfast with our ability. Our speed's going to raise. Are you serious, man? And we flinch from that rock side. Get out my face. We are asleep right now. He's probably going to try to double up on that sleepy poo. Um, we're going to go for an Ice Fang here. A Waterfall. We're going to go for an Ice Fang. We're coming after that Butterfree once again. Going after that Butterfree. And then we're going to go for another Meteor Assault over on that Exedra. Do we outspeed now? Show me my Surf Edge outspeeds this Butterfree. We can at least do some work, because this Butterfree is going to put me to sleep. It's going to put me to sleep. It's going to slump me up. Probably going for a Rock Slide, another Sleep Powder. That's what I think is going to happen. But our Steadfast did pop in. It did pop in, which is beautiful. Let's see. Do we outspeed? Here goes the Gigantamax Butterfree, I believe. I believe it should be Gigantamax. If not, that's better for us. He's probably going to try to rock into a Max Airstream, take him us out. It is Gigantamax. Look at that beautiful Butterfly. Thing's gorgeous. That thing is gorgeous, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we outspeed. Show me the speed. Show me the speed. We do out speed now. Meteor Souls can come in here. Look at this. <laughs> Take him out. Is he focused? Oh my lord. And he's not focused. Yes. Let's get it. Let's get it, Sir Fetch. That move is unreal. We're going to do life orb damage here. This thing is not focused. Actually. I kept thinking it was. Um, we're chilling. 
Which one? What's he gonna go into? Is Max Airstream take out my Surf Fetch here? It's fine. It's fine. I really don't mind that at all. At all. Our Surf Fetch did work on that extra, which is beautiful. And then we have our Milo Tick, Milo Tick chilling in the back. We have double ice moves here. Double ice moves, potential freeze chances. Fine by me. Fine by me. And we have Life Do and all that stuff. Do I go into a Life Do off the bat? He's probably coming after my Gyarados. Um, we're, we're gonna double up on the ice moves here. We're honestly gonna double up on these ice moves here. Ban -in, ban -in 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 -in. Spider Freeze gonna outspeed. Possibly go for his G Max move over on my Gyarados. Let's see. Max Overgrowth. Oh, we. Can we eat that up? Eat it up, Milo. Eat it up, Milo. Eat it up, Milo. You love to see it. You love to see it. And we gotta do some work on this thing. We're gonna go into a Protect next move on my Milo tick. 100%. Save him another turn. And my character should wake up here. I'm hoping. Hoping. What you mean? What you mean? Not waking up. Do some work on him. There we go. Get the freeze on him. Show me that freeze. Bro, no freeze. The rain did stop. What do you mean he doesn't wake up here? We're going into a protect now. We get that leftovers, which is beautiful. Wow, wait a minute. 202. How much damage does that do? If we just gain 10 and put us down night, that will take us out. His next move is going to take us out. I was going to go into a uh, life do. But now we're chilling. Better wake up here. Ice Fang could potentially take it out, and we're just gonna go into a protect on our Milo tick. Here comes a protect. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Trying to stall out turns here. Just trying to stall out turns. Waiting for my Gyarados to wake up. What is that? Four turns he's going on? Is he, is he on four turns? That he didn't wake up yet? Let's see. We should be able to eat up with this protect on us. Yeet. Look at that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. We're wasting out his Dynamax turns. Can you wake up? Thank you, Gyarados. Ice Fang's gonna come out here. Possibly win us the game. And it does. Let's go. Let's get it. That is how it's done, yo. This team, baby. This team with that surf fetch and this Milo tick. I love it. Alcreme is cool, too. Alcreme is cool, too. I feel like I didn't really get to show her off as much. But she still came in here and showed off. Oh, yes, baby. That is how we rock out with this team. If you would like to use it for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But, yes, we did rock out with that surf fetch. It was awesome. It was awesome. I really did like the surf fetch and that Gyarados. That Gyarados is a beast with that weakness policy. We set up with Dragon Dance and all that good stuff and just run stuff like we did. And we got that Milo tick with that Adrenaline Orb, which was awesome. I really like how he played, too. Same thing with that uh, Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is always a good option with the Leech Seed. And now Alcreme here. Alcreme was nice. I feel like we didn't get to really show him off as much. Maybe we'll do it in another video with a different Alcreme team and then dragon bolt we didn't even get to use them in battle but it's all good it is all good we show off dragon bolt all the time but guys also let me know for question of the day it's not even a question leave me rental codes i would love to get you guys rental codes and use them in videos and all that good stuff but guys that is going to be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you all in the next one peace out everyone